Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for joining us for today's webinar, which is our car seat manufacturer update of Diono. So before we get started, I just want to remind everybody to be sure to download the PowerPoint presentation by either you can click on the handouts button or when the webinar is finished, there will be a link that will come in your follow-up email. So again, welcome to today's webinar, Diono, brought to you by State Farm and Safe Kids. So also as a reminder, just want to let everyone know that only the person that's registered for the webinar and is logged in is going to get the credit for watching the webinar. But if you are watching with a group, that is perfectly fine. All you need to do is quickly organize an in-person session, designate a lead, and then just get a sign-in sheet. And when you add it to your CEU profile page, just make sure to add it as an in-person update instead of as the webinar. So our objectives today are there for you. Um, we want to make sure that we discuss the most common frequently asked questions that are submitted to Diono, provide you any information on features, benefits, and installation, and also discuss the importance of how to navigate the manuals. So I'd like to introduce you to Alana Pinkerton. Alana has been certified for almost 19 years. As an instructor, she founded a nonprofit organization whose mission was to educate the underserved communities around the state of Alabama. And then in 2011, Diono came knocking and she jumped at the opportunity to serve this organization. Alana's been married to Paul for 25 years who still cannot install a car seat. Um, and she is the mother of Andrew, who's 24, Max, who's 15, and of all things, their passion is racing cars. So we're really privileged to have her as well as others on the phone. And with that, I will hand it on over to you, Alana. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Welcome, everyone. Good afternoon from a, an overcast sky in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, we are coming to you from all across, across the globe today. Uh, we have several uh, extra speakers today, and I have the privilege of doing this alongside Mike Gillette, our head of engineering. For those of you who are not familiar with Mike, he has about 20 years experience uh, in the car seat industry. He's one of my favorite engineers, and I was thrilled to hear that he came on board with us a couple years ago. And then my good friend, uh, Samantha Cheatham, is our Director of Development and Marketing, and she's coming over here from the UK. Uh, Samantha has extensive experience in the industry as well, working for companies like uh, Graco and um, and and just I mean, Cybex and, and back with Newell Brands, she just has a plethora of, of experience in this industry. So I'm thrilled that all of them can join us today. So uh, we did have plans for our wonderful CEO, Tim Mall, to join us, but uh, unfortunately he got swept away as most CE CEOs do in the world. And so uh, Sam's gonna come on and read a statement on behalf of Tim. So welcome Sam to the webinar. Thank you very much, Alana. Um, I've got a really short statement to read you guys from Tim. Um, so just bear with me as I'm uh, obviously reading this for um, the first time. So since 2008, we've been on a journey of discovery and development to provide the highest standards of in-car safety. Throughout this time, the support and feedback from the CPS community has continued to drive our product development and innovation. With our team of designers and engineers working tirelessly to address the concerns of the CPST community. That's why the new Radian family focuses on complete child passenger safety and comfort. The recommended usage has been made consistent across North American models with rear facing capabilities enhanced to up to 50 pounds and new testing procedures to go above and beyond all standards. We hope this webinar provides you with a great overview of what's new and in store for Diono in 2020. As we look forward to the year ahead, I wanted to take the opportunity to address you all 
and reiterate that the support of the CPSD community is paramount to our continued journey. Thank you for taking the time to join us today and for what we hope will be the most exciting year for Diono. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to share this product launch with you today, but before we look into the future for Diono, it's important that we understand where we've come from and what makes Diono unique. We are made of Seattle. We design and engineer all our car seats in Seattle and our commitment to child safety and love for original design is why over a million parents have chosen a Diono car seat since our brand was born. We this year are reaching our 20th anniversary and we've been launching innovative new products year on year so every family can experience the joy of the journey. In Seattle, we designed and engineered the first, the original all-in-one convertible car seat, which has been chosen by millions of parents, has a great online rating, is multi-award winning, and has a proven safety track record. And I want to add, uh, Samantha, that, you know, a lot of people always ask us about our car crashes, you know, how many car crash crashes happen in a year. And uh, according to our customer service department, we receive about 600 to 700 phone calls a year of people being involved in car crashes. Now, most of these are minor car crashes, but we've had some major, major car crashes where the outcomes have been much like um, what Joseph has uh, stated here and we quoted him that it saved all three of my children's lives in a rollover accident everyone came out without a scratch the police even said normally kids and most adults don't even survive rollover like ours where we went over a retaining wall and a guardrail and the police said it was the car seats that saved the kids and i would also emphasize those car seats were probably installed correctly and the children were harnessed correctly and that is thanks to the education that all of you technicians put out there on a daily basis. So as you're going through the, the regular routine of doing car seat installations and thinking you're not making a difference, you are making a difference in the lives of these children. Um, all brands out there do a great job with making great products, but it's truly about getting the parents educated, the car seats installed properly, and the car seats used properly every single ride. So continue doing what you're doing. So we've taken everything that consumers love about the award-winning Radiant car seat, the fact that it goes three across, it folds, it's got an amazing steel core, and it's the original rear-facing car seat. And examined every nut and bolt to deliver new levels of safety, testing, comfort, and functionality. This is the next generation of a long-standing legacy of all-in-one car seats that continues to promote our rear-facing for longer message. Introducing the Radian Q series. We've kept what consumers love about the Radian and built onto this strong foundation, a complete newborn rear-facing protection system supported by our all new safe bus testing and engineering promise. Like all the Radians, the Q series offers 10 years, one car seat from birth to booster. The new Q series is from four to 120 pounds with a new weight range forward facing booster mode, which now starts at 40 pounds. The Radian 3 QXT exclusively features a four stage complete newborn protection, which includes an energy absorbing Safe Plus newborn protection insert, a Safe Plus newborn travel high wedge, which creates the optimum lie slap flat travel position of 35 degrees, a Safe Plus two in one infant positioning liner for improved comfort and body support and a Safe Plus newborn harness pads, ensuring that we achieve an optimum fit for newborns.
And along with that, you know, just like we've always emphasized, we want to keep children rear facing longer. We know the AAP recommends children remain rear facing to the upper weight or height limits of their car seat. And with the 50 pound rear facing limit on the queue, then children will be able to be accommodated to this higher weight limit. We know that rear facing protects the head, the neck, and the spinal column. So we really wanna keep encouraging and have technicians encouraging parents to keep their, rear, their child rear facing longer with this extended use. And now I wanna introduce again, Mike Gillette, who will go over and explain our Safe Plus engineering and testing promise. Thank you, Alana. <clears throat> Okay, next slide. First, the new Safe Plus Steel anti-rebound bar removes the need to add the top to the rear facing, which I know that Diona has done for some time. So that is gone. It includes a one-click connection at the bottom, the seat bottom, resulting in a reduction in rebound of 50% or more, which is based on our recent crash testing results. With the steel core frame, the 3QX provides six layers of side impact protection, and the 3QXT provides eight layers with the side impact SIM pods. The layered EPS and EPP foam interlock with a high density plastic shell. And all this is done without compromising the three across in most mid sized vehicles. The SIM pods are designed and engineered to manage the energy by directing it around the back of the car seat and away from the child. If used in the center seating position, the SIM pods are not needed. The Radian Q includes an all new reinforced automotive grade high strength steel core. The steel core is combined with the seat shell to create a safe plus structure that manages crash forces. The new Radiant Q headrest now includes a simple one button adjustment with an increase of 22% of adjustment range over the Radiant R series. It extends higher than the top positions and, and starts lower at the bottom position. The headrest is also recontoured using our latest European side impact test research to better manage side impact crash energy. Now, Lana had mentioned something about this safe plus testing. So what we've done is for the two times the force, we have NCAP testing, rollover testing is done to the European test standard ECE R44, the rear impact testing is also done to the European test standard ECE R44, and our side impact testing is done to the proposed US FMBSS 213 side impact test, test standard. Working with a team of engineers, we went through every component on the seat and upgraded it, upgraded 90% of those to create the new Radiant R series. Thank you very much. And it's back to you, Alana. Actually, I Sam. think we're going to turn it back over to Sam, but it's okay. Thank you. Very much. Um, so whilst newborn safety is paramount, we've ensured that added safety is built into every mode of travel, as well as keeping the familiar travel features that consumers love, the expandable width, the fold, the fact that the um, seat is FAA approved, and we've improved some of the usability as well on some of the key features like the rear facing bolster, which Alana will cover in a little, little bit more detail um, later in the presentation. With all that safety and comfort built in, the Q series still re retains the slim fit design to fit three across in most mid-sized vehicles. The slim fit design allows 10 years one car seat of use with five ways to travel from birth to booster. So no matter how you build your back seat, the Radium Q really does grow with your family. 
We have two options with the Q series, both offering great safety and features. The QX offers a three-stage rear-facing protection, including the Safe Plus anti-rebound bar, and then we upgrade to the three QXT with four-stage newborn protection and Safe Plus SIM pod. Okay, so let's go over some questions that you might be um, asking yourself or, or the ones that are gonna come up from the consumers that are out using our seats in, in the real world. So one of the first question number one is, can the Safe Plus Newborn Travel High Wedge, which is number two over here on your, on your screen, be used with all Radian models, old and new? So this product is not meant for all Radians, it is, it does come with the Radian 3 RXT along with the two-in-one infant positioning liner and the newborn travel high wedge. And it comes with the QX and the QXT. Question number two, does the safe plus newborn travel high wedge have to be used in conjunction with the two-in-one infant positioning liner? No, the wedge is removable at the parent's discretion However, the liner must be used when the Safe Plus Newborn Protection insert is used. So in other words, as a child, if you, have a, if you start with a newborn, they're gonna be using the Newborn Protection insert in the QXT up to 10 pounds. And then they'll also use that in conjunction with the liner, which most likely will have the wedge because what that wedge does is it brings that baby, that newborn up a little more in a, a lay flat position so that the child is laying at that 35 degree, 35 to 45 degree angle. So um, it will be at the parent's discretion, but we don't want you to use the newborn protection insert without the, the positioning liner. Question number three, can the Radian 3 QXT Safe Plus newborn protection insert be used with all Radian models? No, this insert is exclusive to just the three QXT and has only been tested with this Q series car seat. Question four, can the Radian QXT Safe Plus newborn protection insert be used with the Radian 3QX? This is also a no because it's only exclusive to the Radian 3QXT. And then finally, question number five, is the angle adjuster? compatible with the Radian Q series. For those of you who do not know what the angle adjuster is, and I'm sorry I left it out of the presentation, it is our square foam um, piece of material that actually raises the car seat more upright about four to six inches when it's rear facing. This product can only be used with our car seats. No other brand car seat can be used with, but it is compatible with the new Q series as well. Will the Safe Plus side impact management pods be a replacement part? It will, however, they won't be available right away. Hopefully, since it's a new product, nobody will need them right away, but they, they come with the QXT. And then finally, question seven, are, it, are the Safe Plus steel anti-rebound bar and side impact management pods compatible with any of the Radium models? And this is a no. These features are designed specifically for the Radium Q3 QXT and the Radian 3 QX. And finally, um, everybody wants to know, is this a global product? As of now, the Q series is sold only in the US and Canada. So this is a North American SKU. And you will see the Canadian label on the shell on the back underneath on the bottom, like you see in this picture here. All the labels will include English, Spanish, and French. And then you might be wondering, the next question is, is the top tether required in both directions? The top tether connector strap is not in the QX Q series boxes as the safe plus steel anti-rebound bar replaces this feature as Mike had mentioned. And in Canada, the top tether is required forward facing. In the US, the top tether is highly recommended as it helps improve safety performance during a crash. So when you're at that seat check, don't forget to make sure that that top tether is connected to the appropriate top tether anchor when it's forward facing. 
Question number 10, will the Q series have a level line indicator in Canada, like the, um, the Canadian Radian series, in case you didn't know, but I know we might have some Canadian techs on the line. The, and this is a no, the safe plus steel anti-rebound bar will set the car seat in the proper recline so there, and reduce that rebound so there's no need for the rear facing um, tether connector strap for, for any of our North American SKUs for the QX Q series. And question 11, can a roll towel, because this is a popular question, can a roll towel be put in between the child's body and the center buckle? And the answer is no, there should be, and there should be no need to use a roll towel with this product because there's so much padding underneath the baby and the insert allows that baby to fit properly um, in that seat. So it will actually lower that buckle in the right position. When we talk about installation, uh, this is a great checklist to go by. When we're rear facing the cues, in, uh, rear facing, we want to make sure we always use the anti-rebound bar, always use the uh, easy adjust rear facing uh, base that will uh, connect with one click as well. You also want to use for the QXT, make sure you're using the newborn protection insert with the two-in-one positioning liner. The newborn travel high wedge is optional, but obviously more than likely for a newborn, you're gonna to want to use that wedge. And, oh, we put it in there twice, sorry about that. And then also with the um, exclusive for the three QXT, the newborn harness pads, even though they're optional, they're perfect for that newborn or that smaller baby. And then also exclusive to the QXT, you wanna make sure you're using the side impact management pods unless you're going in the center seating position. Forward facing, be sure you still add that safe stop technology. The safe stop technology is a load limiting device that is used for children under 40 pounds that are forward facing. The anti-slip harness pads are optional. Again, you wanna make sure you're using the safe plus side impact pods for the QXT, as long as you're not going in the center. Don't forget that top tether and always lower the adjustable bottom for children who weigh over 25 pounds. One thing I wanted to point out in our manual, and please read through those manuals, no matter whose brand you're, you're, you're using, but in the CPS curriculum, we generally teach when the child's rear facing at or below the shoulders with the harness straps and forward facing at or above. For our car seats, we want you putting the harnesses above the shoulders. And finally, I wanted to show you how the, the detachable base easily connects to the bottom. So on the radians, we have a metal slide mechanism. On the Q series, we simply put the base in the same slots as the radian, but just press those two buttons and then simply connect them onto the bottom of the car seat. The other thing um, that I wanted to point out on the feet of the base, these are redesigned. The feet are a little bit longer so that they're able to extend into the seat bite in those hard to reach places. And then also the, the base was completely redesigned so that the seat does recline more in line with a newborn baby. The other thing that's great to point out is you can see the cover is gonna be easy to remove. There is latch and rear face and, and tethering storage on the back. The instruction manual is stored right in the back storage compartment as well. Just uh, uh, open it up and take a look. There's also a nice big label that tells the parent about the top tethering. So we're hoping to increase that, that top tether use as well. And back to you, Sam. Okay, so this is just a really quick overview for everybody to see all of the new things that we've got in the um, in the Q series. So it details what we've got new in safety, comfort, the testing that Mike's already covered, and then there's a few bits around functionality there. Um, have a read of this, um, but yeah, that's everything detailed out as an overview. So what we've also um, included in the presentation is all of the technical product data that you may need to reference and Alana jump in at any point. Um, 
some of this is relevant to you guys, some of it isn't, but as you go through, you'll see that um, all of the product data is available, including things like the harness weights um, and um, information that could be really useful, useful for you. And there's information on QX and QXT available there. Okay, next slide. We've engineered even more improvements in safety, comfort and functionality to our award-winning all-in-one convertible car seat range. We now have five models that you can see lined up there. Um, so we have a rating for everyone and every budget with no compromise on safety. And I think that's such a great slide to show really the evolution of, of the seat and you can really see the um, the changes in, in the design and some of those feature call outs um, are really evident within that slide. So what improvements have we made with the R series? The new Radian R series focuses on complete child passenger safety and comfort. And we made the decision to standardise the recommended usage across North American models, and that's for the weight. So all radians are now rear facing for even longer, up to 50 pounds. And to help parents, that helps keep um, helps parents keep children travelling in the safest way for as long as possible. We're now forward facing 22 to 65 pounds, and the high back booster mode is now from 40 pounds. As part of the standardisation of the Radian family, the 2020 Radian 3R is now suitable up to £120 and in rear facing for longer up to £50. In addition to the weight changes, we've upgraded all the fabrics and we now have an easy remove cover. The first notable difference with the 3RX is the new shape the head support infant insert. The Radian 3RX also has the same great new fabrics, easy remove covers and the standardised weights. Standardised weights, upgraded fabrics and covers all apply to the Radian 3RXT. We've increased focus on rear facing for longer and the RXT includes the newborn travel high wedge creating a near lie flat position at 35 degree angle for optimum newborn positioning. Added comfort and support is provided through the two-in-one infant positioning liner and it still retains its other great features like the adjustable headrest. Okay, so some popular questions we tend to get with the Radian or just car seats in general. Um, when a parent calls in or emails us that they can't get the car seat in tight enough, especially when it's rear facing, we generally find that they are grabbing the seat at the top of the shell instead of at the bell path underneath the child's legs for rear facing. And this is important. What I normally try to tell parents, explain to them, first of all, we install the car seat the exact way we install it on the test bench. And so it, if I went up to the test bench after the, the technician installs our car seats on the bench, I can grab the top part of the shell and move the car seat all over the place. But if I grab it at the belt path, do the one hand shake front to back, side to side, it moves less than an inch. It doesn't move at all, actually. But give this visual to the parent. You know, parents want to know why, and this is a great explanation, and it usually satisfies their concern. Uh, sometimes we have parents that can't get the harness tight enough. I find most of the time they're not checking at the right place. They're sticking a fist under the stomach, and they're not doing the pinch test. Uh, since 2008, we now have an easy glide harness system so that we there's no more of that ratcheting. If you do come across an older seat with the ratcheting system, when that seat is rear facing, just simply explain to the parent to grab the harness from the back of the shell first. Um, well, first I would say buckle in the center buckle, grab the straps from the back to pull it snug, then adjust the harness strap and then do the chest clip blast. And I dare say I would do this on all brands because I find 
um, getting the, the harness snug enough on some other brands as well is a challenge. And this just alleviates that tension on that cam lock when um, everything is just buckled up. So do the chest clip last after you snug up the harness. Finally, um, are all Diono car seats compatible with the Ford inflatable seat belts? They are compatible with the Radians, including the new Q series. They're compatible with the Monterey XT, our new Monterey 4 DXT, the Cambria, the Cambria 2, the Solana, and the Solana 2, all compatible with those products, but not our new booster seat called the Everett NXT, which we will show you in just a few slides. One of the most popular questions we get a lot is the fact that the, the head restraints in vehicles now pitch forward, so we tend to get a gap between the vehicle seat and the back of the seat. So if this happens, as long as you get a tight fit at the belt path, we are okay with a gap in between the back of the radian shell and the vehicle seat. And then finally, can 20% of the bottom overhang on the vehicle seat? This is a, um, a, a general statement in the CPS curriculum. We don't comply with that. We actually want 100% of all of our car seats must fit on the vehicle seat. So we're talking about the bottom portion of the car seat should fit entirely on the vehicle seat. Can the center buckle be shortened for smaller babies? As I told you with the Q series, we have eliminated the need for that, but on the Radian R series, you may still run into this situation. So yes, you can take the center buckle and loop it back through another shot, slot so that you can shorten that buckle. Just be sure that that D-ring is flush and not coming through the slot. And are car crash replacements necess necessary after every crash? In our manuals in the U.S., it states to replace after any crash. However, if you feel the crash is not significant, the U.S. products can follow NHTSA's minor criteria for crash replacement. But you also want to advise the parent to call customer service if they have any concerns. In Canada, the car seat must be replaced after any type of crash that's in compliance with Transport Canada. And just on a general note, because we, we get this question often as well, Harness pads are not required in, on any of our car seats beginning with products manufactured after September 2017. This is not retroactive and other brands harness pads should not be used with our car seats. As you can see here, we have this great sheet that will show you the differences of all the different features with all the different car seats. Across our entire Radian line, we have a lot of things in common and other than the price point. And so the more features a car seat has, the, I mean, the more, um, the more features a car seat has, the more letters you'll see in the name as well. The higher the price point, the more features you will see. And as you can see, we have simplified across the board the weight ranges. The biggest differentiation is on the Q series, the weight range starts at 40 pounds and then there is um, the larger range of adjustable head support with the Q-Series as well. And just to kind of simplify this uh, sheet a little bit more, just looking at the R-Series, this is what the different features are that make it uh, different across the board. But again, the weight ranges stay the same, so it just makes it a little bit easier to um, you know, decipher which product is what product. And then additionally, this points out all the extra Safe Plus uh, features on our Q series so that you can differentiate what models have which features. The Radian 3 QXT being our premium product with everything a parent um, can want for their child. And of course, we have a plethora of colors because parents and kids all like color. And so there's something for everybody, somebody who wants color and somebody who just wants that neutral black or gray. And with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Sam. Thanks, Alana. So our Seattle-based designers and engineers developed the first all-in-one car seat. And we're also the first to bring the ex expandable booster to the market offering a unique solution that grows with your child. 
The Monterey 4 DXT is the next generation of the original expandable booster, with 15 upgrades in safety, comfort and style. With three layers of side impact protection and extra deep sidewalls, the Monterey continues to protect eight years one car seat from 40 to 120 pounds. The Everett NXT Fix is our slim fit booster. With a great response already from parents looking for a sleek, well-designed booster without compromising safety. Rigid latch connectors make for easy installation and a narrow seat back improves access to adult seat belt buckling. Suitable from 40 to 120 pounds, also eight years, one booster. The Cambria 2 is our colourful two-in-one high back and backless booster seat with room to grow. With an internal width of 16 inches, a six position adjustable headrest and a belt guide height of 20 inches, this seat really does grow with your child. Perfect for when your big kid needs a little boost. Solana 2 is suitable from 40 to 120 pounds, lightweight and easily transferred between vehicles so parents will never be without a safe belt positioning backless booster. Okay, so let's talk about some questions that might come across from some parents or yourself as technicians. By the way, in each of those slides, I made sure to insert the highest shoulder belt guy, because that was probably the biggest question that we got asked last week. So it is in the slides when you print out the PDF. So one of the biggest questions we always get is, what if the shoulder belt tends to not retract properly, or for one reason or another, the child doesn't like it going through the belt guide? The belt guide is there for simply a belt guide. If the shoulder, this uh, vehicle seat belt fits on the shoulders, the center of the collarbone for the child and the belt guide does not need to be used. Another thing that comes up with even the booster seats is about the gap. And as you can see here for, uh, in this picture, there is a gap, but as long as the top of the booster seat, the head support is touching that vehicle headrest, then we allow for that gap to go in between. Now, there are some vehicle seats that just sit straight upright and the child's not going to be comfortable. In that case, you know, that might not be the right booster seat for that vehicle. We do want this ch child sitting more upright in a booster because that is a safer position, but we do understand some vehicle seat designs might prohibit a child from being comfortable as well. But we always want to have a head support behind the child's head, whether it's in high back mode or, or backless mode. And by the way, the Everett and NXT Fix does not convert to backless mode. Um, and also, in addition to that, when you are using the lower connectors, if it's um, if the bottom of that Everett booster seat is not touching the bottom of the vehicle seat, it's creating that gap on the bottom, um, then we simply want to just rotate those connectors, store them away, and utilize the vehicle seat belt to secure that, that booster seat while it is unoccupied. And finally, I just want to, you know, reiterate to you that we have a lot of resources online. Obviously, our website is great to navigate as well. By the way, on our on our regular product website, the manual for each product you can find about halfway, a quarter of a way down through the page. If you just scroll down, the product manual will be there. If you want to find older manuals, that will be at the very bottom of our website pages. We also have a YouTube channel, and on there are some short uh, clip videos that I, uh, I've done last year where you can send those out to parents just to give them a little bit of information. It's always a great to use a third party resource, right? So we provided those, those educational videos for our consumers and for you as technicians as well. And of course, there are a ton of marketing videos there. So you can take a look at all of our different products. So check out our YouTube channel. And of course, I'm here today, but I'm also here every day. Um, a, a lot of you can attest that if you send me a text message, I'm going to usually answer it pretty quickly. Even if I'm on an airplane, I do have text messaging access, but I am always available for you. 
uh, to answer questions, to find out what you need, help guide you along the way. And that is my role here at the company is to be, be the liaison between you and Diono. And so if you see something on social media you're not liking, please you know, um, afford me the professional courtesy and reach out to me directly. If you start making comments in the thread, I think it just only confuses parents. And so you know, take it offline, bring it up with me, and then I can talk with our social media and marketing team and we can take a, a course of action from there. So we wanna, we wanna help enhance the education. We definitely don't wanna confuse anybody and we wanna make sure that we're doing things right as well. We do offer CPST discount pricing. So I'm happy to send you the confidential pricing. Just send me an email with a copy of your CPS certification card. We want you to you know, have access to our products for personal use. If you have um, a need for a larger order that you need to set up an account because you wanna provide um, a lot more car seats for your community or for an event, we can do bulk ordering as well. And so you wanna reach out to me so I can set you up with the appropriate person. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am about the new Radiant Q series. I, you know, we can never make a perfect car seat, but for taking that Radiant and making all those great improvements, I think Sam and Mike and the rest of the team did an amazing job. It's not easy to make those changes and, and, and do it all perfectly. But I, I think that, I don't know about you, but my biggest uh, thing that I'm excited about is the, the newborn uh, inserts and then the adjustability of the head support because it's gonna go a lot lower, it's gonna go a lot higher, and then it's a one button adjustment, which you know we've all been waiting for if you're a big Radiant fan. So thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day. Thanks to Mike, thanks to Sam for joining me and all of us and Stephanie, um, I appreciate you inviting us on and, and I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I guess we'll take questions now, right? You bet. So, well, thank you all so much for all that information and learned a lot today. So we appreciate you very much being on the call. And while we are doing um, questions, I am gonna leave up Alana's information on the presentation so that if you need her information, you have that. So I'm gonna turn it over to Carrie now for questions. Hi, and boy, oh boy, do we have questions. And some of them are extremely technical. So if they're not asked today, please do email Alana for it. Um, and we have so many very specific questions, but I'm gonna start with one that we had many people talk about. Um, there seems to be some confusion between the rear facing and forward facing harness straps and where they are allowed to be. Um, uh, that was from Kate and Christina and Michelle and a few other people. So if you could talk about that, that would be great. Okay, so the, when the child's rear facing it is simply at or below their shoulders, just like every other car seat. When it's forward, when the child's forward facing, we want the straps just above the child's shoulders. Nothing too complicated, right? <laughs> You're going back to basics. Um, yes. We did have some questions about the anti-rebound bar, so I'm gonna go through some of those. Um, we did have a question about, uh, by having the new anti-rebound bar not having to be top tethered for rear facing, does it make it easier to install, um, making it straight? She said she had trouble keeping the seat straight and not lopsided. Yeah, I think it'll make it easier because now you're not, because when you use the top tether rear facing, you had to go one direction or another. So now you're not, pulling that seat down at one direction. And if you do come across, um, well, the radians are still gonna come with that top tether connector. You know, you don't have to pull that top tether super duper tight. That is just supposed to be pulled taunt, not tight. So it should not be pulling that radian in a different direction. But with the Q, the rebound bar goes in, you set the seat down, you install it using the latch or the seat belt and the rear facing belt path and, and you're done. So that does make it a lot easier for installation. Right. Christina wants to know if the anti-rebound bar is required or just strongly suggested. It is required when it comes with the car seat. So it's gonna come with the QXT and the QX. It says, it says, it says always use in the manual. Right. Nicole wants to know if the angle adjuster is compatible with the anti-rebound bar. 
It is, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see. Um, obviously, we didn't do, you know, 10,000 scenarios, but, you know, send me any pictures, any situations you might come across. It should not interfere uh, with the uh, with the rebound bar. We tested in a few cars, and so we didn't seem to have, you know, any issues. Okay. Um, you just talked about testing, so here's a follow-up question from Lainey. Is there any concern that the holes for the entire rebound bar are accessible to the child when the seat is used forward facing? Good question. Um, is Mike still on the line? I am here. What was what was the question? Forward facing <laughs> and anti rebound bar. Is that what the question was? All right. Is there a risk for children's fingers? Uh, for the spots left by the anti-rebound bar when the seat is used forward facing? Yeah, there's the buttons on the side would not be an issue. The holes down uh, on the front side, um, those would be, well, first of all, you have fabric that covers those up anyhow, so I'm not sure if a child would want to find those holes. If, if they do find those holes, um, they would pass the probe test, so there's no entrapment there. The, the finger could go in and come out of those holes, so there shouldn't be an issue any than any other hole like a slot in the seat or anything like that I mean it's not going to be any different than that and um, no I don't see any issues with that all right thank you um, and now we're going to go to a few super uh, technical questions and again if you can't answer they they have your email what is the width difference between the new QXT seats and the RXT slash 3 RXT the new Q seats look a little bit wider at the top they do look wider, but we actually did not compromise the three across. So they are, even though they look wider, they look wider because they have those deeper sidewalls, but they're still 17 inches wide. And that's the seat at the widest part? Yes. Um, Emma's interested in how much each car seat weighs. Do you have that information? Yeah, those are all on the technical, um, but it, it, they're pretty much weigh about the same. So. You know, if the, the seat is stripped down, obviously it weighs about like almost 26 pounds. Um, as you add more things to it, then the weight picks up. You still get a good workout with our products. I will attest to that. <laughs> um, could you just do a quick review of the uh, lower anchor weight limits for rear facing and forward facing for Elizabeth? Yeah, they're still the same as they were with the Radian 35 rear facing, 40 forward facing. Um, Shannon wants to know if you can use the lower anchors and tether when the seat is used in booster mode. Oh, that is a good question for Mike. I did not have that one. Mike, are you there? I am. So I'm sorry. I'm working on the sites. What was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> so we're wondering, is it okay for them to attach the top tether at the lower connectors while the seat's in booster mode? Um, actually that, it has not that I'm aware of, has that been tested? I'm thinking of, of past seats. Do you have any history of that being tested, um, for the Radian and R series? We that, did a lot on the Radian R series. Yeah, we did not test that, that configuration. I can make a note of that, but that has not been tested. So that would be a no for now. Yes, the latch and tether with booster mode, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, well, the longer feet on the rear-facing base, with the longer feet on the rear-facing base, can the seat still be installed in vehicle seats with, with no seat bite or crack? Okay. Yeah, it can still be installed. Again, as long as you have a tight fit at that belt path, um, then that's a correct installation. And as a follow-up, Scott is wondering if you've been able to test uh, the longer feet um, with vehicles with high seat bites like the Subaru. I don't know if we specifically put it in a Subaru, but it would fit in basically the same way. It's still a high seat bite. So if you're getting too much of a recline, um, then you wouldn't want to use that seat bite and you just pull those feet out and make sure they're flat on the vehicle seat and that you're getting a tight fit at the bell path. Okay. Um, Kelly wants to know if you only use the SimPod on the vehicle door side, 
You use the SIM pod on the center install if you have three Dionos across. No, you would only use the SIM pods on the door side. If you're doing three across, um, you would not put them on the center car seat. In follow up, Kate's wondering if you could explain a little bit more about how those work. So as Mike had mentioned in the presentation, those SIM pods um, help manage the energy and transfer it to the back of the shell rather than impacting the child. Thank you. Michael asked if you could go over what the super connectors are again. Um, would the 65 pound weight limit, you know, child plus the vehicle still apply when using super connectors? Yeah, so our super latch is our trademark name for our lower connectors. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> they are redesigned, by the way. I don't know if you noticed in the picture, but they're a lot smaller, so they're going to be easier to get into those tight seat bites, which I think is great. And they're also going to be easier to release because they just have this simple loop that you just pull on. So it makes it great. But I don't know how much more we can elaborate on latch. I think whoops, we've gotten a little, you know, made it a little bit more complicated than it is. Uh, we have a weight limit on our seats of 35 pounds rear facing with the super latch and forward facing 40 pounds. So we've taken into consideration the weight of the car seat um, along with the weight of the child. So you don't have to think about that. There's labels in the, on the side of the seat and there's labels in the manual as well that indicate when you have to remove the super latch. Great. Um, kind of switching gears here. Um, I know you're into racing. So switching gears, um, Douglas wants to know if side towel rolls are acceptable for any of the Radian models. Yeah, the side towels are fine because they're not, inter as long as they don't interfere with the um, harness at all. So, I mean, you know, suggest to the parent to maybe go with the Radian RXT or the QXT because that gives them all the comfort of all those little, you know, nice cushions that actually, I mean, that's the great thing about the QXT, y'all. It, it is meant for a newborn. So, nobody should have to use any kind of towels with those, those inserts because that really cocoons that little baby um, so well and it's going to you know it's going to be great for that newborn baby okay um you had talked before about being able to shorten the center buckle on the non-q series car seats and denise wants to know if that is stated in the owner's manual um not to my recollection that's you know we can't put everything in the manual i would love to put everything in the manual if 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 the compliance team would put everything in the manual that you and i would want in the manual that thing would be about 82 pages long and you know we can't do that to parents so um I, you know just anytime you have one of these unique situations just call just email us just know that even from today something might change with us um, that's just the way things evolve we do more testing, we have more questions, Mike will take a look at it and then, you know, do some more testing. And so a year from now, something might change. Um, but just if you come into that unique situation, just give us a call because we just can't put everything in the manual. Okay. But good question. We have two um, kind of retroactive questions here. Shannon wants to know if for the rating, if the 50 pound rear facing limit is able to be applied retroactively. I tried, I really did y'all, <laughs> but no, these, these weight limits are not retroactive. They only apply to the 2020 Radian R and Radian Q series. And just to clarify, we had another question from Marion. Um, when forward facing, you mentioned the harness does need to be um, above the shoulders. Is this just for the Q series or all Radians? All Radians, it's, it's been saying that in the manual for uh, about two years now. And that's why and that's something I want to um, kind of mention to you. I know some of us always see radians in, in the field. And just because you see any brand car seat all the time doesn't mean the next model is going to have the same manual. So I know it's hard. I know it takes a lot of time to read through manuals, but just double check those little things that you know are unique to that seat. And, and check with that manual that comes with that car seat because six months from now, that manual might have a running change in it. I don't know if you realize that, but it just might. And so always read those manuals. And you know, I, I'm ADD, so I have a hard time reading manuals, trust me, but we, we really have to get that done and just go through the manual with that parent so they know how to navigate through that manual as well. Okay, well, we had a lot more 
technical <laughs> question. Um, we're running out of time, so I'm just going to encourage you, if your question was not asked or I had to combine it with another question, please uh, email directly to get, um, to get your question answered. Um, and I will kick it back to you, Stephanie. Thank you, Carrie. So with being out of time, I just wanted to give the speakers any extra final thoughts that you have that you'd like to share with the technicians today. Well, I just again want to thank everybody for being here. I know it takes you know an hour of your day. I am very excited about this product. Um, you know, I've been with Diono eight and a half years now, so it's exciting to see you know a very innovative product. I hope you're happy with it as well. Again, I am here for all of you. Tell your technician friend, give them my email, give them my phone number. You know, that's what I'm here for, and I really, really want to encourage all of you to just reach out to me directly with any questions. Also, our customer service staff rocks. They, you know, I, I'm continuously training with them. If they don't have an answer, don't get mad at them. They'll come up to me or they'll grab Mike and, um, and we'll get it done for you and just, you know, have some patience with us when we don't have that exact answer right away. But uh, sometimes we just have to find things and think about things. And we just appreciate all you do. Keep doing what you're doing. I've been doing this 18 years. Every time I say I'm gonna give it up, you know, something happens where you just hear that great story or that parent gives you that hug and that hug of, of them being so, you know, their concerns wash away and they, they just feel so great about their child feeling safer because of what you did for them. And so keep doing it. We need to get more people signed up as technicians, encourage your friends and your family members to become a technician because we don't want this to go away. We've been doing a great job. We've reduced, greatly reduced injuries and deaths of children and car crashes. So let's keep the fire burning everyone. Have a great day. Great, and so I just want to make sure to remind everybody that as um, soon as the webinar is over, a survey is going to show up in your email. Um, please check your email this evening for that confirmation email that's going to include the event ID that you're going to enter into your profile page. If you don't get it, please make sure to check your spam filter first, and then if it's not there, send me an email and I'll confirm your attendance and send you a confirmation email back. So with that, again, we really wanna thank all of our speakers today for putting in your time and, and also thank all of the technicians who joined us this afternoon for a great webinar. Thank you all and be safe. Have a great and safe day.